can you lose fat in a smaller space of time with seemingly less effort? We're gonna figure that out today as I unbox my brand new vibration plate from Body Express. See if this thing is actually uh, worth buying and if it really works. Don't touch that dial because we're gonna find out together. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber and if you're new, hello, my name is Jessica. I typically make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, all that stuff. I don't normally do a bunch of fitness videos, but if you are somebody who really enjoys lifestyle videos and vlogs and style, then you might think about subscribing. But if you're just here because you want to know about this Body Express vibration plate, that's all good too. Just make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and drop a comment down below and let me know if you have ever tried one of these before. Vibration plates. I always feel like these are kind of a weird gimmick. And I started going to this class that we have here in Los Angeles called Plate Fit. And it's basically a fitness studio where they have a bunch of vibration plates and different weights and resistance bands. And it's a group fitness class. So they lead you through the workout and it's only 28 minutes. And I'm always like, 28 minutes, come on. Cause I'm one of those people that wants to be in the gym for like an hour because I'm like, Ugh, I have to work out so hard. I used to think that this was a gimmick, but there is a lot of science behind vibration plates and fitness, which I don't really know fully offhand. So I'm gonna cut to Jessica who's had more coffee and been awake longer to kind of talk you through a little bit of the science behind the vibration plate. Caffeinated Jessica, over to you. Thank you, Jessica. So vibration platforms, do they really work? I've done a little bit of research, so let's break down what I found out. There's been a number of studies that have subjected people to these vibration platforms to really see if they do anything to our bodies. Research that I found suggests that whole body vibration can help improve muscle strength, fat loss, when you cut back on calories, which I feel like that's maybe just normal when you're exercising. But some of the things that I read say that some scientists believe that this vibration, when applied at certain frequencies, are actually reaching the control center of your muscles, forces your muscles to activate in a different way than they would if you were just doing regular strength training. So I'm just gonna read this off my phone because it's a lot, but this is the theory. Vibrations are tugging at muscle spindles, which are receptors in our muscles that respond to stretching forces. When the spindles are stretched by the vibrations, they can tell a muscle to contract. The vibrations might be causing our muscle spindles to fire many times a second, causing minute muscle contractions that add up to an extra workout. Well, that is really the benefit of the vibration platform in a nutshell. Okay, so one study found that women who did leg exercises on a vibrating platform for 12 weeks could jump higher than compared to a control group but the results were only slightly better than for a group that performed normal exercise routines for the same amount of time. There was another study that saw an increased vertical jump height in subjects. After the researchers had said subjects standing on a vibration platform several times a week for eight months. So just standing on it. So maybe this could be really useful for people who participate in sports where jumping is involved. There's other studies that have been uh, less exciting. A 2004 study concluded that while doing light exercises on a whole body vibration platform did make people stronger, the gains were about as comparable to just working out regularly. Another research group looked at people standing but not working out on a vibrating plate for 11 weeks and found no effects on knee strength, which is probably what they were looking at. Even if you don't necessarily want to shake up your exercise regime, this whole body vibration could have benefits for certain people beyond just getting stronger or losing fat. Some studies have found that these vibration plates can offer benefits to people who are unable to otherwise perform normal workout routines. And some research shows that some whole body vibration when performed correctly and under medical supervision can reduce back pain, improve strength and balance in older adults, and reduce bone loss and help fight osteoporosis. 40 people with cerebral palsy found that the participants could walk and stand up better after 20 weeks of whole body vibration. And then another found that whole body vibration fatigued elderly people's muscles more than it did younger people's, which is an indication that it might offer greater benefits to seniors. I think the takeaway here is it's not like a magic device, but it could A, your muscles work even harder and in a different way. If you're already performing these exercises, you could do it on a plate, it could give you some benefit. And also if you are in one of these groups that is elderly or you have other issues that were listed here, it could possibly provide some benefits to alleviate those issues. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not even a personal trainer. This is just research that I have done that I'm sort of regurgitating back to you so that you can understand what it is that the other version of me is trying to figure out in the other part of this video. So that's all I got for now. Back to you, workout Jess. 
That was informative, right? And now the part that you all hear for the unboxing and the trial part, right? I did receive this from Home Shopping Network. This is not sponsored and I am under no obligation to create this video. Just felt like it might be helpful to a lot of you all out there, so that's why I'm doing it. Disclaimer's done. If you're interested in shopping this body contour plate, I'll have it linked down in the description box if you want to go and check it out there. Bye scissors. Let me bring it over. Okay, so I got the white one, but it comes in like several other colors if you want something different. With workout videos, another DVD with more workout videos, and then they've got a diet guide here. Seems like it's got some different menus for different like calories, so 1200 calorie menu, full day menus each day, ideas, meals, and then they go up, so 1300 calorie menu, all that kind of stuff. I don't really feel like following a diet book like this is effective, so probably gonna toss that because I follow faster way to follow us. So if you're interested in knowing more about that, uh, I'll have videos about that down in the description box too. Their manual. Okay, this thing is not light. Oh god. I'm getting I'm getting my workout, just getting it out of the box. Of handle. Power cord, a remote control, handy so that you can uh, adjust it as you're standing on it. You don't have to bend down, I guess. So here it is fully unboxed. The platform I would say is about three feet wide by a foot and a half long. These are one pound weights actually. It comes with an extension cord to plug it in and the remote. It actually has this really cool Bluetooth technology so you can connect your phone to it and it has speakers so you can listen to your own music playing through the speakers on the device. Bluetooth connect complete. Ooh. So I could theoretically, I guess, start playing music from my phone. It's playing from the platform, which is pretty wild. And then the, the remote should be able to let me skip. You can control your music through this as well as your workout with this, which is pretty cool. You can turn the volume up or down. Obviously I won't be listening to classical music while working out, but you know, just trying to show you the cool features. Well, I've got my uh, DVD in my husband's ancient MacBook Pro. That is one of the one cons is the fact that it's like a DVD workout. That feels a little dated to me. I wish that they had like an app or some sort of website or something where you could just stream the workouts from your phone because where I work out in my house is not really conducive to me using my DVD player. And honestly, like, who uses DVD players anymore? You know? Come on. Over time, like this DVD might be cool to like sort of get some ideas of workouts to do, but probably as time goes by and I use this more, I'll just do my own workout. So I don't really need to follow along with a video. The DVD only has like two different workouts, one with body weight only and one with weights, which by the way, I thought these were gonna be like handles to like maybe like resistance bands that you attach to the bottom. They're not, they're literally just one pound hand weights. I don't know, we're gonna see. I feel like this is kind of not enough for me. I have my own like heavier hand weights here. So I'm gonna just try out body weight workout to see how that goes because I just wanna like try this platform out. Yes, I've done plate fit before um, and lifted high, like much heavier weights, but yeah, I just want to get a feel for it and give you guys my honest opinion on how it goes. So that being said, let's try this out. This is Tony Little. He kind of leads one of the workouts here on the DVD and he is quite a character, let me just say. So you step on the platform, you always want to step in the middle to stabilize yourself. This is the easiest stance and then as you step out wider, it gets more and more difficult. So you can kind of gauge what is the best stance for you to take. One feet narrow. Level two is like intermediate and wide is like advanced. Okay, this is kind of crazy. It feels a lot more rocky, I guess, than plate fit. I feel like when you go, the vibration or the movement is a little bit more fine. It's not quite as much as this. Yeah, it, it is a little weird. So if you've never been on a vibration plate like this before, I would suggest putting it near a wall or putting it near something where you can put your hand to stabilize yourself to just get used to it first. The beginner speed levels are 1 through 20. <laughs> An intermediate is 21 through 40, advanced is 41 through 70, and athlete advanced is 71 to 99. So it goes up pretty high. Uh, I'm at 50 now. 60. 75. 80. I'm going to stick it at 80 for this workout. do feel like your muscle is being engaged in kind of a different way um, because of the vibration. I feel like because I do a lot more strength training, 
and I do pretty intense workouts on a daily basis, I kind of like want to have weights right now because while I do feel something happening, I want more, you know? It definitely throws off your balance, so it really forces you to like stabilize everything. First impressions of just my first workout on it. So I am sweating, not necessarily, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, 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 she's really mess where heat is applied to it. So what once was a little messy is now even messier. Okay. Um, whew. Sweating like this, not because like I'm necessarily working super hard, like because it's just really freaking hot in my apartment right now. So yeah, I did just the body weight exercises. It was about a 20 minute workout and it was pretty easy. Um, but again, like I said, while I was doing it, I do some pretty intense workouts every day. I do a lot of strength training and different things. And I also go to plate fit, which is designed to be a little bit more intense than that. So I found it to be way too easy. Now I will say the part that was definitely harder was doing push-ups on there when I had it cranked up to 85. Oh, this is hard. And the planks. Whew, wow. Like my arms feel like jello, but I feel like my legs are really a lot stronger than that. So I kind of want to try the one with the weights just to see how that goes and get a little feel for that to see if that's a little bit more difficult. But I do think just based on just using it just now, this could be a great thing to use in my regular workouts, just adding it in when I'm doing squats or doing other exercises like where I can be on that rather than on the ground. Um, it will just add that extra element of difficulty to my strength workouts to really intensify it. I'm gonna try out the one with the weights now and let's see how that one goes. Wait, now like I said, this whole thing comes with one pound hand weights. So I'm just bringing some seven and a halfs and some fives over here, you know, just in case the one pound is just way too easy. You know, cause I gotta freaking challenge myself. All right, I'm actually using seven and a halfs for the squats, which is pretty light for me. I can lift quite a bit heavier weights for squats. But again, I'm just trying to get a gauge for doing this with the vibration platform. So I'm gonna wrap this video up with some final thoughts about what I feel about this vibrating platform. First of all, I really do not like the DVDs that come included with it. I feel like the workouts that are included in them are just frankly boring. And I don't think that they're very practical because after you've done them three or four or five times, you're gonna be sick of it and you're gonna want something different. So the DVD is not the best part about it. Now, the actual vibrating platform, I think if you can find a way to incorporate it into your workout in different ways, it could have some benefits for you, like I outlined earlier in this video. But like I also discovered, it's not a magic device. It's not going to magically just make you lose fat just by standing on it, which I think is the claim that a lot of people who sell these plates try to make it out to be. So it is going to involve you actually using it in a way that where you're working out. And it's, even when you're doing that, it's not going to like your results come like super, super faster. So it's really up to you. If you want and you have the extra money and you think that this could be something that would be great um, to level up your fitness or help you, then by all means. But for me, with the price point and the research that I've done, I'm not really sure if it's worth it for everyone out there, but it is a very interesting device and I do feel like it did challenge me in new ways. So that's a very inconclusive statement. I like it but you really have to decide and weigh the cost of the platform with whether or not you feel like the benefits are really truly something that you as an individual are looking for. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used one of these before, if you've ever been to plate fit, if you've ever been to like a similar workout class where you're on a vibrating platform. The jury's still out for me. I haven't used this enough yet to really see any kind of results, but I will try to incorporate it in my home workouts as much as I can, just because it is a little bit of an added workout benefit than just working out on the floor. If you're interested in checking it out, again, I do have it linked down in the description box. If you're not already subscribed and you do enjoy like fashion, lifestyle, and beauty content, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button right down below. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.